Hey guys, so it's finally time here to go ahead and make my review in or use my look here at the Galaxy S3 versus the Galaxy S3 mini. Yay, we are finally here, we're finally gonna do this video. So, um, just start off with some background check here. Of course, if you don't know me from earlier, uh, I am a Galaxy user. I've been using Galaxy phones since uh, almost since the Galaxy S2 came out. And then I upgraded to the Galaxy Note, the original Galaxy Note, used that one for a hell of a long time, six months. Then I bought the Galaxy S3, used that one for six months. Then I now use the Galaxy Note 2, and you've been using it for like two or three months, and it's so awesome. And I can't wait to see what something has uh, up and coming here uh, at CES. Uh, 2013 in January there uh, we can already maybe see the Galaxy S4 be unveiled over there uh, but now it's time to go ahead and talk about some very very interesting phones here and, and uh, check them out and compare them a little bit so for, first here on the left side we have a beautiful Galaxy S3 which is probably the most popular phone for 2012 it's still going very 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 strong and everyone's like looking forward to the Galaxy S4 and it's going to be so much fun to compare it with you know the you know the Galaxy S3. You know once it came come out, uh, but now just uh, not that long ago we got the new boy coming out with the same design as the Galaxy S3, but it's kind of like a mini variant of the Galaxy S3 uh, with a four-inch four display instead of 4.8 inch, and um, you know a little bit lower specs, uh, kind of like mid mid-range specs. Um, so mid-range 4-inch uh, Android smartphone that is pretty decent actually so let's go ahead and make this review shall we let's go ahead and now start off by checking out the front side here and of course you can see that I have the pebble blue Galaxy S3 mini and white Galaxy S3 so the first thing we can definitely see that is a little bit different here is that most of the sensors here on uh, on the Galaxy S3 mini here is located at the left side while they are being located at the right side here on the Galaxy S3. Um, other than that, they look kind of a little bit more normal here. The Galaxy S3 mini is a little bit chubby. Uh, it's a little bit like a slim down iPhone 3GS. It's a little bit chubby, but just because it ha only has a four inch display, it feels you know more slim. Uh, also one thing you can see here at the front side, you can see that the home button actually is in the middle on the Galaxy S3 mini was being located a little bit more down to the bottom here. Uh, probably a very, very, you know, that's like a bad design mistake probably, even though I think most people get used to it. Uh, but it, it looks, I think, a little bit better here when the, the, the home button is in the middle. Same goes with my Galaxy Note 2. Uh, the, something like did like correct that, or it did push the home button to the middle. So um, that's, that's a small little thing there that I do enjoy a little bit more. Uh, if you go ahead and look here when we stack them on each other, you can definitely see that, you know, it is definitely a little bit more slimmed down. Uh, at the bottom, we can definitely see that we do have the normal used uh, the jack over there. Let's go ahead and zoom in here a little bit. So we just have the normal uh, jack there to charge up the device. Now on the side here, we do have the button to power on the device. If you go here to the left side of the device, we can see that what we have here is also volume up and volume down. And uh, let's go ahead and see here at the top, we can see, let's see here, a little bit different, a little bit more to the right side here, uh, the headphone jack, but it's being located almost a little bit more uh, almost in the middle on the Galaxy S3. Uh, if you go ahead and look here at the bottom of the device, uh, we can see that they almost have the same design. Um, you know, you have the speaker grill there to the left, what's being located on the right here, and then you have the flash at the bottom, what's being located at the left here. So, you know, some so small design tweaks, not that a big of a deal, even though it probably looks a little bit better here on the Galaxy S3. So, th that's just a quick, quick first look here at the design aspect. So, as you can see, I mean, like, they, they, they are very, very similar in, in terms of design. Um, so you will get that kind of nice like curved design, uh, which I definitely do enjoy uh, on the on the Galaxy S3. Let's go ahead and fire up these boys over here, and let's go ahead now and take a 
specs look. So uh, let's go ahead and start off here with some interesting stuff, which I think is very interesting. Some very, very big things. Uh, same thing was kind of big when I compared the Galaxy S3 Mini versus the, the Galaxy S2, and that was the, that the camera. So uh, on the Galaxy S3 Mini, we get a 5 megapixel camera only. While, of course, you get an 8 megapixel camera on the Galaxy S3, which the Galaxy S3's 8 megapixel camera is very, very identical to the Galaxy S2's. So I really hope that in the Galaxy S4 next year, we're gonna see like a better camera because it gets a little bit boring if they never, you know, update the camera, but we'll probably see like an updated camera uh, very, very soon. It was a hard as that the Galaxy S2 would feature like a 30 megapixel camera, but it didn't because LG bought up uh, the camera sensors to the, like their LG Optimus G smartphone, but hey, we don't know that. So the camera is a very, very big thing, and I will be taking some test pictures a little bit later on. Also, you can only record 720p video on the Galaxy S3 Mini, while you can record 1080p uh, video here on the Galaxy S3. And of course, you have the burst mode on the Galaxy S3, which is even, even, even quicker than the Galaxy S2 that doesn't have burst mode uh, right now. Uh, also, the front-facing camera is only a VJ camera, while it's like 1.9 megapixel. Uh, front-facing camera here on the Galaxy S3. So camera is a very, very big thing there. If you go ahead and look down uh, in terms of the chipset that's being used, and this was also something that I was surprised the first time I did look it up and when I was preparing to make my Galaxy S2 versus Galaxy S3 mini review, uh, because those devices cost around the same, so that's why I made a review of it. Uh, but I, I found a pretty interesting thing, and that is that the Galaxy S3 mini doesn't seem to be running on the Exynos chipset that Samsung itself is doing. It seems to be rocking some Nova Tor chipset, uh, U8420. Uh, of course, you do know that the Galaxy S3 is rocking on, X, uh, on Samsung's own like Exynos chipset, Exynos 4, so it's uh, 4412 here to be specific. That's the chipset uh, that's being run here. So the chipset is definitely different there. Uh, what we also could go down and check here in, in terms of the cores that we get on each device. Of course, you get uh, you get 1.4 gigahertz quad core, or we can you start off there. You get four cores in the Galaxy S3, so it's, it should be awesome for multitasking. While you uh, get a dual core in the Galaxy S3 Mini, so definitely definitely the big difference there in this clock. That's one gigahertz in the Galaxy S3 Mini was like the 1.4 gigahertz in the Galaxy S3. So we should probably see a very, very big difference, especially uh, when we do some heavy CPU testing, that, that in, in especially M32 benchmark score, we, we definitely should see a way, way higher score here on in, in the Galaxy S3, uh, of course. So that, that's, that's, that's one very, very big thing there as well. Uh, in terms of the screen, uh, in screen quality right now when I'm checking out the display. Uh, when I did this review and compared Galaxy S3 Mini versus Galaxy S2, I definitely did see that white was a little bit more white um, and uh, all those things on... Uh, uh, white was a little bit more white on, on the Galaxy S3 Mini compared to the Galaxy S2. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that in the Galaxy S2 is rocking like Super AMOLED Plus display, while these two boys seem to be rocking the same kind of display. Uh, but they are rocking different resolutions you get 480 uh, by 800 on the Galaxy S3 Mini, while you get the 720p display here. So you get uh, 720p times 1280. So 720p video should look awesome on the Galaxy S3. But in terms of you know color, co color, colors, and you know color saturation and those things, it seems like these are very very identical. But I will have a, you know a little bit of a deeper look when we go into the browser and test that out a little bit more. Also a very big thing here is about the protection. At least when I checked out GSM Arena, it doesn't seem like the Galaxy S3 Mini is rocking Gorilla Glass on top that should protect the device. And that's something that Samsung is very, very famous for, for you know packing Gorilla Glass on top of the device. Uh, and of course with the new Galaxy S3 here, you get Gorilla Glass 2. Uh, and as you can see still, I have, you know, accident, I've smashed the display, so, you know, you can still smash it, but it should be way, way better for, you know, nice screen scratch test videos and things like that. And I haven't tested those things out on the Galaxy S3 Mini at the moment, I might do it in the future, 
Uh, it depends on how these reviews and if a lot of people like them, I might be able to do a knife screen scratch test because that would be really interesting because I made, I made a knife screen scratch test on the, the you know, comparing the Galaxy Note 2 versus the Galaxy S3 and um, in those videos when I've been trying to scratch the screen, you haven't been able to see that much. So it would be extremely fun to do that on the Galaxy S3 Mini, but who knows, who knows, who knows uh, if, if I will do that. One also very big thing here is the GPU. Uh, so Malai 400, that's what's been rocking here in both these two devices. And mo many of Samsung's devices is rocking Malai 400. Uh, but there's a big difference here. Uh, on the Galaxy S3, it's Malai 400 MP, and I think that's kind of like dual core, but it's only Galaxy or well, it's only for uh, Malai 400 on the Galaxy S3 Mini. This was something I did see, especially in the Antutu 2 benchmark score with the Galaxy S2 versus Galaxy S3 Mini. I really see it get a you know twice in terms of the GPU performance, twice the performance uh, on the Galaxy S2. So we should see something kind of the same here. Uh, even maybe even triple because uh, on, on, on the Galaxy S3 versus the Galaxy S3 Mini a triple score in the GPU test because I do know that uh, Samsung did overclock the pro or did overclock the like the GPU to instead of going 200 megahertz like on the Galaxy S2 small like 400 MP it should be clocked at like 400 megahertz which is super, should provide you know 50% better uh, you know kinds of gaming performance you know in, in graphics and cool things like that so we definitely have to go ahead and take a look at that later so the GPUs should also be a very big difference here also one very very big difference here could also be the battery you get 1500 milliamps here on the Galaxy 3 mini even though it's, it's, it's a little bit you know lower clock processor it only had two cores uh, so uh, 1,500 milliamps is what you get on the Galaxy S3 Mini, uh, while you get uh, 2,100 milliamps on the Galaxy S3. And the Galaxy S3, sure, it's quad core, but from what I've heard, more cores should be more battery efficient, because then each core will work a little bit instead of you know two cores works uh, work a lot. Now I'm not that into it, but Anand Tech they have a lot of like good reviews and they talk a lot about the CPU tests and things like that, and I'm pretty sure that. Uh, from what I've seen uh, being posted online and stuff like that, that it should be way, way better with more cores. It should be, you know, better for battery life. So you should have a way better battery life there because, you know, you get 600 more, 600 more milliamps uh, is out of the stock and then that it's quad core, more cores should be more battery efficient. So even though, you know, the CPU is like better and, and you know, stronger, more powerful, same with the GPU, uh, the battery should be kind of like better, but it, that kind of uh, probably also depends on if you play heavy gaming. If you play heavy gaming and let the CPU, CPU and GPU work hard, then you know the battery might be a little bit different and act a little bit different. So that was a, some quick, quick look here. I also want to quickly mention what we're running here. So we are rocking both these two devices. Uh, I'm pretty sure here on Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, which is almost the latest version of Android. So you can see here, okay, um, uh, I use Flash this and Samsung is just recently now starting to ship out Android 4.1.2 uh, to the Galaxy S2 to the Galaxy S3. Uh, but I did ship this uh, or from, you know flash this from sammobile.com and it's very, very easy to do. But uh, this Galaxy S3, I just bought it like a day ago and uh, the Galaxy S3 Mini here, and I'm rocking Android 4.1 with one Jelly Bean, so it's coming with that out of the stock. Uh, now when you buy the Galaxy S3 uh, in store here, the Galaxy S3, you might get it with ICS, but the official update should come here very, very soon, uh, because Samsung is just now rolling it out, and it's gonna be also very, very soon available uh, on the Galaxy S2. So some quick look there at uh, some spec things. And just to go over it a little bit quick here, the biggest things are probably, um, you know, the, the, the camera. It, it's such a big thing there. The CPU is also a very big thing if you do it, get heavy gaming stuff like that. And, and the GPU should perform like triple, I'm pretty sure if it's, you know, if it's clocked at 200, 400 megahertz instead of 200 megahertz. Uh, on the Galaxy S2. You should be able to overclock the Galaxy S2 as well to like 400 megahertz from what I've heard, but that could probably be also a little bit dangerous. So let's go ahead and now 
uh, cut to the fun stuff. Let's go ahead and do some speed testing here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fire up Google Chrome on both these two devices. And I saw did also did see a comment here that Google Chrome ain't that good in terms of you know smoothness when you zoom in and out. But I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that and use it anyways because we mostly just gonna go ahead and try out the loading speeds here. So let's go ahead and fire up bookmarks. And let's go ahead and now and go to, let's see here, let's go ahead and go to GSM Arena. No, let's go to Phone Arena. Let's go ahead and tap on those two devices. And they're both connected to my home Wi-Fi. So both are loading this kind of heavy website. There we go, the Galaxy has three minutes finished a little bit quicker. Pretty interesting. And when we zoom in here, we can definitely see that the Galaxy S3 performs better. It's way more smooth here when we zoom in and out. So of course, that's, that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and try to tap here. There we go, it zooms in. Let's go ahead and tap on this. Go. Hmm, interesting. Seems like it's reacting a little bit quicker in terms of clicking speed here on the Galaxy S3 Mini. Both are loading. There we go, the Galaxy S3 finished up. The Galaxy S3 Mini, there we go. It is, was a little bit behind there. Let's go ahead and try out to go to the news section. There we go, you can see the GPU is rendering everything else quicker here. And can we see the performance? There we go, the Galaxy S3 finished up. And this one is still loading, still loading. Okay, there we go. So it seems to be around two to maybe like four seconds quicker. Uh, let's go ahead and go to bookmarks again. And let's go ahead and try out another little bit heavy website. So the Verge, there we go. You can see the GPU is rendering the text first here. There we go, it finished up. And this one's still loading, still loading. There we go, it finished up. Okay, there we go, still loading. Okay, so a few seconds longer. I remember when I was doing this test versus the Galaxy S2. It was around one to two seconds or one to three seconds quicker the Galaxy S2. Here it seems to be around maybe like two to five seconds quicker. So, you know, a little bit quicker there. I mean, like we're talking about seconds here, but you know. We're not loading extreme, not loading extremely heavy websites, but you can clearly see here. There we go, finished up, and not that far behind. But I can also feel it a little bit here when I do like this up and down that it is performing better here on my little beautiful, my beautiful, my beautiful, my beautiful Galaxy S3. Uh, the screen brightness is also turned on uh, on like full on both these two devices. And from what I can see here, it seems like white is a little bit better calibrated on the Galaxy S3 versus the Galaxy S3 Mini, uh, which is interesting. So it seems like it's better, definitely better on the Galaxy S3. Uh, and I remember when I was, you know, comparing it, uh, when I was comparing the Galaxy S3 Mini versus the Galaxy S2, uh, Galaxy S2, the Galaxy S2 really did look horrible. And now this time it is, um, it uh, definitely is the Galaxy S3 Mini that looks. A little bit horrible there in, in, in terms of colors. So I, I guess we can say that it's a few seconds, um, it's a few seconds quicker there in, in terms of performance over there. So that could be kind of interesting to know. Now let's go ahead and continue down the road of some quick app loading. So I'm gonna use like a popular app that probably a lot of you people use. 
And so let's go ahead and close down some things. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fire up Facebook. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Let's go ahead and tap. There we go. It was a little bit quicker. Not by much, by a little bit, a little bit quicker there, loading time. If you do a big scroll down, you can see that, of course, you can scroll further down on the Galaxy S3 quicker because it has a big display. I'm go ahead and click here on Asus. Oops. Let's go ahead and go in there again. Let's go ahead and tap on this picture. And let's up quickly there on the Galaxy S3, not by much, by a little bit. And of course, this is not extremely heavy pictures and stuff, so you know, we won't really see a major difference here. So a little bit quicker again. So in terms of Facebook, let's see here if we can go back also one more time. And, and also when we are loading here, updating the page. Okay, a little bit quicker. In Facebook app, it doesn't really seem to be that of a big difference, like one to two seconds most of the time. So that's, that's very, very good news here for the Galaxy S3 mini uh, in, in terms of that kind of performance. Now let's go ahead and fire up another app and I'm gonna go ahead and continue to use Facebook app in the background so we can see how the Galaxy S3 mini performs a little bit when we're doing some quick multitasking here. So let's go ahead and fire up the YouTube app on both. And there we go, it finished up and we can see a little bit different um, you know, front pages over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and fire up my YouTube channel and I'm gonna go ahead and load some quick videos, see which one loads up quicker. Uh, let's see here, let's go ahead and go down to one of my new videos. So around two seconds quicker over there. This one did load an ad, so that, that could have been a little bit hard to see. Okay, around one second quicker over there. Can we get the Galaxy S3 Mini to... I think it takes a little bit, one like extra second there to load when it's like an ad. Let's see here. Okay, I get that ad all the time. Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh my god, I got that ad like five times. Okay, but uh, in terms of YouTube, it seems like it is, you know, a, a few extra seconds quicker, like one to two seconds. Kind of the same as in the Facebook app. So really not that big of a deal. You know, both are performing very, 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 very good over there. Now, let's go ahead and check out the ebook. Let's go ahead and check out some quick Kindle reading, some Amazon Kindle reading. Let's go ahead and first, you know, just download an app or download a book I have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back here. Let's go to archive. I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on. Uh, you have exceeded limit on the number of devices that can read this item. What? Okay, that was kind of fun. Okay, so you can't have many devices. I find that kind of weird. Okay, so let's go ahead and go here to the millionaire next door. Go ahead and tap on that. Yeah, we need to download it pretty quick here. The Amazon Kindle is awesome if you do a lot of ebook reading. So definitely white is a little bit better calibrated, it seems like here on the Galaxy S3. Something that's very, very nice. Very, very nice, very, very nice, very, very nice. Uh, also here when I switch pages, it is a little bit more smooth here, especially when you go instantly. Uh, it's a little bit more smooth here on the Galaxy S3, the big boy here. Uh, but yeah, definitely the big thing is that you will notice it's, it, it, the color is a little bit better calibrated there. So very, 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 very nice. Now let's go ahead and go down to the camera. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fire up the camera on both these two devices. 
And I just want to quickly see here if I have anything weird in my camera settings. Okay, sweet, I don't. Okay, nice. Now, let's go ahead and fire up the camera. Okay, so uh, we get, of course, because these both are running Anderform with one jelly bean, we get uh, all kinds of custom, nice, fun features up here. Like, we didn't get that with the Galaxy S3 because, you know, but here you can see you get you only get a fine piece of camera. Uh, you can see there that when we when we go ahead and uh, tap here to is to focus, it's going to be way slower than when I'm going to do this uh, with the Galaxy S3. Uh, and then when we take a picture, it takes one and a half second kind of. Uh, and of course, we do have all of these effects that I've already been showing a little bit, like already built in. Uh, like sepia effect, let's go ahead and try that one. Let's go ahead and try to take a lot of pictures. As you can see, it's kind of impossible to take a lot of pictures, like uh, extreme burst mode. And I'm pretty sure that that's not something that you can fix with the software. Uh, but that's something that, uh, that is something that it has to do with the camera sensor. That it needs to be in a specific, you know, it needs to be better, basically, the hardware. So as you can see now, when I see here, you can see it's way, way, way quicker in focusing. It, it, it can find what you need to focus on instantly. And then you can see that I can take pictures way, way quicker. Way, way, way quicker. Okay, wait a sec. I wonder what's happened when I hold this one in. It shouldn't be extreme burst mode. No, it doesn't, it doesn't work, you know, the burst mode. So a little bit disappointing there, but you know, it has to do with the camera software. But that, that really is a major thing there, that the camera is so much better on the Galaxy S3. So if you take a lot of pictures, I mean like, uh, but then we should also know that, you know, the, the Galaxy S3 mini costs around half the price of the Galaxy S3 mini many regions. And if you like a little bit smaller, slim down sign off, if you don't do a lot of gaming, if you don't do a lot of pictures, you just want a nice, smooth uh, experience here and you do some browsing sometimes and you use some apps sometimes and you still do some gaming for a fairly cheap price uh, then you know it could be a very very good device for you so let's go ahead and continue now uh, let's go ahead and go and check out the play store let's go ahead and load that one up so i'm gonna go ahead and load this up and i just want to go ahead and see here if you go to categories Let's go ahead and tap on games. Oh, Scarface. Is that like a new game? Scarface. Ooh, that's interesting. I need to download that chat. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, I, one also thing I also can mention about the Galaxy S3 Mini, which I thought was kind of weird, is I don't get any haptic feedback on these two buttons down here. And you can also see that they are in a blue color, which is pretty interesting. It usually it's like white color, uh, but bluish color, and it doesn't seem like you can turn on this vibration feedback in the capacity touch buttons in the settings. Usually you go over here, I can go ahead and quickly demonstrate it here for you. Uh, usually you go into settings here, and you go down to sound, and this is something that I, I really need to have it, like I, I get pissed off if I can't find it. But you can see that when I go down, I have haptic feedback here, which will make my you know two capacity buttons down there vibrate. Here, we don't have it. We, I don't have any haptic feedback on the Galaxy S3 Mini, which I think is kind of weird. Uh, could be because it's rocking Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean and that it will come back in Android 4.1.2. Uh, and I'm not sure when the Galaxy S3 Mini will get Android 4.1.2. Maybe already even out. Uh, I haven't checked out Sam Mobile, but I still think it's kind of interesting there. So let's go ahead now and fire up the Play Store again. And let's go ahead and see here if we can find a game to download. So we can just go ahead and check out some speed testing. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and go to Minecraft Pocket Edition. Let's go ahead and tap on install. Let's go ahead and access and download. And this will basically download it on both my two devices. And we can see which one that is quicker. Install, okay. It was quicker there, pretty interesting. Oh, we also had the GPS turned on there. 
Maybe that's not fair. Okay, there we go. It have install, and that is pretty sweet. So, of course, that could be something with the Wi-Fi also. I can also see now when I quickly went out here that it did take a little few seconds here to render this little graphic here. So that also might be something to consider that you know the GPU will be a, mid, a little bit slower, but I think most of the times you know people will get used to that. Uh, so let's go ahead and try to fire up the phone app as well. Of course, I think that's something that you're going to use a lot. So as you see, uh, yeah, a lot of random numbers there. Uh, of course, the phone app will load up pretty quick. Let's go also ahead and fire up S Voice. So uh, this is what I will do right now. S Voice is kind of like Samsung's own Siri, and you get it in Android 4 point Jelly Bean. It comes with the the touch twist. So let's go ahead and fire it up and try to see which one's quicker. What up, Pomi? Here is the weather for Encoping, Uppsala. <laughs> okay, so both were seeing that I said different things, but you can see there that it seems like the Galaxy S3 Mini is a little bit slower. What is 2 plus 2? They have different voices. I think that's kind of funny. Okay, so you know you can you can play around with this. You can set an alarm. Let's try to set an alarm. Set a, a alarm. Set a alarm for six p.m. Saving the aging alarm. Okay, so you. Okay. Okay, there we go. You can see kind of that it's the same performance there, same speed. Oops! It seems like it has a little bit of a glitch here. This one didn't load up the whole. Okay, so a little bit glitch here on the Galaxy S3 Mini. This little text down there, it didn't load up. Pretty, pretty funny. So that's, that's also a very, very quick look there at S Voice. Now, let's go ahead and quickly load up a little bit of like a, a heavy game. So you can see some little bit of the you know, the GPU performance. No, first of all, let's go ahead and go to some speed testing. I almost forgot about that, but uh, we can't forget about that. That is awesome stuff. So, let's go ahead and fire up speedtest.net. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and see here. I'm not gonna run them at the same time this time because uh, I, I got weird stats the last time I did this. So I'm gonna do this like three times now to see if I can, you know, kind of see the performance on both. But of course you can see that in my real performance in the, in the browser, it was like, you know, two to four seconds quicker, the Galaxy S3. Uh, in Facebook, it was like one to two seconds quicker. And uh, in, 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 you know, YouTube, I got a lot of ads there, but it seems like it's around one second quicker. So it's really not that big of a deal. You know, the biggest difference you will see probably is in, in terms of gaming, uh, in terms of battery life, and also in terms of camera. Uh, I mean, 600 more milliamps, that's a, that's a big difference. Uh, same, I can say the same thing when I upgrade my Galaxy S3 to my Galaxy Note 2. The Galaxy Note 2 has 1,000 more milliamps, 3,100 milliamps. The battery life is amazing, okay? The battery life is so amazing on the Galaxy S uh, or the Galaxy Note 2. Okay, let's see here, 1723, we, get, we got better there on the Galaxy S3, used as it should be, used as it should be, and that, that's, that's pretty awesome. And when we do it here again, let's see here, uh, we got 18, almost 19, and then 23, Let's see here, seems like we get kind of the same. 15 milliseconds, I get 10 milliseconds. Okay, the winner there seems to be the Galaxy 3 Mini. Okay, let's go ahead and do the final round here to see which one uh, will take this home. Will it be the new boy? Da -da -da. I don't know. But the Galaxy 3 Mini really is a nice device. It really is a nice device for, you know, what you pay for, I think. Especially, like, 
in terms of, you know, that, that it's like a mini Galaxy S3, and I think many people won't even feel that big of a difference, you know, when they use it, because one to two seconds, like, that's, for many people, they don't really care, okay? They, they think it's good, they're gonna play Angry Birds. So, 19 and 18, okay, the Galaxy S3 is the winner here, takes, uh, takes home two rounds, while the Galaxy S3 Mini seems like it's taking home one round. Now, let's go ahead and fire up some quick Antutu benchmarking. So, uh, I should have the app here somewhere. And, okay, I can see I have an old version of Antutu on my Galaxy S3. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and search for Antutu and upgrade it. Or update it, of course. We need to update it. Yeah, we need to update it. The thing is that I've only been running and to do benchmark tests here on the Galaxy, uh, the Galaxy S3 here, or the Galaxy S3 Mini, of course. But I will do it again, maybe. Go ahead and open up. Whatever, let's do it. Let's let's do it again here. Maybe someone's gonna say, "Oh, you'll be chiting, you boy." Let's go ahead and fire it up. Let's go ahead and start the test. Make a full test. Shouldn't take extremely long, but a quick little look here. And this test, of course, will test a lot of things: CPU, memory, the RAM. SD card write speed, and that's something that you also want to know about both these two devices. Uh, the Galaxy 3 Mini is, is an 8 gigabyte variant, it's not that much. Uh, the Galaxy 3 they get here is 16 gigabyte. But here comes the fun thing if you need more, uh, if you need more space, you can buy an SD card up to 64 gigabytes. Okay, so you know, if you feel like oh, the Galaxy 3 Mini is everything awesome but I want to upgrade the memory, then you can go ahead and do so. So I think that's, that's very, very nice. And also you can remove the battery. So if you get problems with the battery, if you drop the phone in water, you can quickly, quickly, quickly fix that. Usually when you drop the phone, I mean like I've been dropping a lot of Galaxy S3s in water. Usually when you take out the battery immediately, uh, it won't break. And same thing goes with um, the same thing does not go with the uh, like iPhones because you can't take out the battery, which will make so the device will break and be smashed forever. Yeah, it kind of sucks, but that's just the way it dies. I'm sorry. Yeah. And if you have any feedback on this video, please leave it in the comment section down below. I would really, really appreciate it. I will also be taking a quick, quick look uh, later also on, you know, he's firing up a game here to see uh, the load test. And so you can see a little bit of the performance, even though I already made four reviews of, uh, you know, like GTA Y60 for the Galaxy S3 Mini plus the Galaxy S3. Okay, testing on the last thing here, SD card write speed. So we're soon finished here with this little quick look. Ooh, we got way higher score this time. 
Okay, so, well, so we've got a score of almost 7,000 on the Galaxy 3 Mini, while we've got a score of, I think, 16,000 on our Galaxy S3, the real boy. Ooh, wow. So now we can really see uh, the big things here. So the CPU is really, really, really smashing here on the Galaxy S3. 2,500 in score, 7,429. That's a lot of potential, baby. That's a lot of potential for some heavy, heavy gaming. Heavy Android games. Uh, GPU is 5,000. I would expect a little bit more because uh, I was thinking it was uh, you know higher clock than the Galaxy S2, but what else? Only f or around 5,000, uh, around 2,500 here. RAM is really also really killing here, almost the triple here on the Galaxy S3. IO kind of the same. So um, yeah, quick quick little look here. Uh, I'm also just gonna go ahead and fire up a quick game, uh, GTA Y City. And as I said, I'm making a review of this game already, but now I just want to see the load test here. So one to two seconds quicker, yeah. Not that big of a deal, not that big of a deal. Okay, there we go. So of course the performance really, 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 really is amazing. It really is a killer deal here on the Real Galaxy S3. No, no, not even a frame drop here. It really is amazing. GTA Y City, uh, as you see here, I could drive around like a boss. And it, 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 this really is a big thing if you're a gamer, you know. You might want to consider the Galaxy S3 the real boy. I can be a cab driver like a boss. And I haven't even felt a single lag issue or anything here. So very, very, very nice. Oh my god, we are killing people. Still not even a single frame drop. It's amazing. Move! Yeah. On the boss, I'm gonna die. Wow, when we're trying this game here on the if you come immediately from Galaxy S3 and try this game out on a mini, you would definitely feel a performance difference here. Oh my god, I'm stuck. There you go, you can see some frame drops. You can still play the game though, but you know, some, some, some small frame drops here and there. But will you think that much about it in the long run? Probably not. Probably not. Because it's kind of the same performance as uh, GTA Y City was for the PSP 3000. So, I mean, like, a lot of people bought that game and a lot of people did not like complain about it that much in terms of performance. But you definitely get a better experience on the Galaxy S3 uh, by much. Nah, I mean like <laughs> the, the small frame drops that you get here and there here, it, it really not, it's not extremely big of an issue. I mean like I would probably be able to play this game easy and you know finish this game out on uh, on the Galaxy S3 Mini. But definitely, it's a little bit more eye candy to get like an extreme smooth experience that you get on the Galaxy S3 or like the Galaxy Note 2. Uh, but still very nice here, uh, for, the, for the price, uh, which you probably would pay for, uh, you know, to get this device. So yeah, this is just a quick, quick look here uh, uh, on the Samsung Galaxy S3 versus the Samsung Galaxy S3 Mini. I do love both these two devices right now, I love them, I love them, I love them. And if you have any feedback, you know, comment down below so I do know, you know, which kind of side you are on. But I'm just gonna say it that, you know, the big things are, you know, the camera, you know, battery life, 
uh, if you're gonna do some gaming, you know, definitely the Galaxy S3 here is better. Uh, but then you also have some of the good sides here with the, the this little be this little boy. You know, it's a little bit more. It's very more slim down. It really feels extremely good to hold in your hand. And if you really like that, a little bit smaller display, kind of like an iPhone size display. This one is a killer deal, actually. Um, also, in terms of you know smoothness over here, menus and stuff like that, it really, really kills. Uh, so, um, which device will you pick? Uh, that's a very good question. Please leave the feedback down below in the comment section if you are being awesome. Now, you just have an awesome day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Yeah, peace out.